We did it. It is official. I officially hit 1,000 subscribers as of last week and blown past that, man. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much, Dance Fam. And I couldn't have done it without all of my supporters out in India. You guys are rocking it. You kill it. You're my rock, my soul. I love the, my dance fam out in India. Thank you so much um, for supporting me and, and sticking with me and putting me on the new new videos, guys. Me unbeatables. I love them. The Kings. Ah! I just want to be a crew member. Like yo, like for real. Um. Anyway. Uh. So we are back. Officially, after a small brief hiatus, I'm back with new with a new video for you guys, more reactions, and we're still pushing forward on World of Dance. We are now on episode seven of World of Dance. This is the Duels part two, and the Duels are dope. Like so far, what I've seen in the Duels has been amazing to watch. I really felt like this season was a dud up until the Duels. Like I was so displeased with this season um with the with the audition process and the way things were shaping up but now that we're in the duels like it's really kicking up like it, the energy is so much different the hype is crazy um i i can't imagine being in that situation where you're in the in a room with all these crazy top-notch dancers and you get to watch them like one after another and be pitted together uh, in the same style so i am I'm, I'm hype about this part of this season like for up until everything else like I was really disappointed and now in the duels I am very very hype about the TV show now like I've my love for world of dance has returned uh, thank you so much but anyway dance fam we're gonna jump right into another reaction video uh, let's get to it let's break it down let's go okay Telling the story. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Mm. That was a little off. Ooh. Mm. Nice. I like that. Nice. Some luchador stuff right there. Alright, so let's talk about it. Jake and Chow just murdered, murdered that dance. Like, that was amazingly creative, amazingly powerful. The strength it takes to be able to do something like that is crazy. The athleticism, all of it was phenomenal. Um, this is really hard for me. Well, no, it's not. It's not hard at all. Um, creativity, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give creativity a 10. Like, that was crazy. Saw some stuff that I've never seen before um, out of partner dance and a partner routine. So, that was dope. They did a really good job. My favorite was the part where he had her on, on his shoulders and he popped her up and did a 180. Like, I've never seen anybody do that. And then, the moment where he where she's on him like face front forward and you think she's gonna slide down but she doesn't just slide down she folds and throws him like lucha libre style like it was crazy like that was really dope uh too so creativity through the roof a 10 actual performance i'm gonna give i'm gonna dock them two points for the performance because i saw two areas where they actually messed up um when they were out of sync on the pirouettes into the spread eagle like that yeah it was it was obvious that they weren't in sync with with one another um Derek called it out and he didn't even have to call it out because 
we saw it. Um, we, we all could tell that that was obviously not meant to be that way. Um, the second part where they kind of had a little bit of a mishap is not the part, for me, is not the part where he rolled onto her legs and his, his shoulders weren't, weren't quite on her feet. For me, it was the part where where he kind of let her go a little bit too soon in one of the lifts. Um, he his arm was just a little bit loose, and it, it, you could tell like it just wasn't supposed to be there. But the judges didn't actually catch that, so whatever. But uh, anyway, so I give them an eight on actual performance of this routine. Um, so we got 10 for creativity. We got extra actual ex execution, which I give an eight. And now I'm gonna go into choreography. Choreography is a straight, flat out 10. Like, they got 10s all across the board. That was crazy. Like, it, I'm, yeah, that was, that was crazy. Jake and Chow, hats off to you guys. Well done. You guys are top notch. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I like that. Nice. Oh, it's not over. Whoa, that was hot. Nice. Yo, Josh and Erica, this routine was fire. I love how creative you guys got with these overalls. Once again, like groundbreaking things that I've never seen done before with overalls. Like, that's crazy. First of all, I just want to call out these overalls. These overalls ain't your typical overalls. Most overalls are made of denim. These are maybe, I don't know, some kind of a uh, normal kind of cotton. Because you can't just throw denim like that. Like, denim just doesn't just flow from one side of the room to the other like that. So that's definitely some special fabric or some special material that they used uh, in order to pull off some of the things that they did. But um, going into the routine, uh, creativity, I give a 10 also, um, which is crazy. Like the creativity was amazing to watch them actually dance a routine connected to each other the entire time, only releasing just to be connected again into each thing flowing in to one another, I give a 10. Actual execution, I also give a 10. Um, however, I will say um, choreography in itself just got a, the energy came real, real low. So, um, and for that matter, the, the energy, which is not even something that I typically score on, but the energy for me was like, like, like a five. Like it was, it was very interesting to watch. Um, very artful, but it, the energy level just wasn't there. When you come from Jake and Chow and the energy level is way up here, you kind of have to match that in this competition. That's just the way it rolls, it's the way it falls. Um, but that's not to say that the choreography or that, that the execution was bad. It's just the energy just wasn't as high. Um, they also mentioned that the girl didn't hit as hard as the boy, uh, that Erica didn't hit as hard as Josh, but I completely disagree. She was hitting harder than he was um, so I don't know what Neo was talking about in that moment but uh, anyway for that for that reason I'm going Jake and Chow like Jake and Chow that, that routine was insane and just to be clear both routines were insane in their own ways but the energy level the choreography the execution all of it the, the, the package was there more for me with Jake and Chow than uh, Josh and Erica. Um, and I hope I didn't mix the names up. I may, I may have put the boy names in the wrong place, but whatever, you know who I'm talking about, the first routine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, dance fam, let's move into the next one. For, for me, the winners are Jake and Chow. Geometry variable versus oxygen. Mm. Mm. Nice. 
Oh, I caught that. Geometry variable, let's talk about it. Yo, that routine was nice. Like, they used the perfect word, which was kaleidoscopic. It was very kaleidoscopic. Like, it reminded me of a kaleidoscope. Um, but I wanna talk about all the different burns that they had in that routine, which was crazy because if you're not watching, if you're not paying attention to them, you, you will miss them because they happen so quickly. But there's one part in the lyrics where, where the lyrics go, I'll never be like you. And in that same moment, he he like points to oxygen, like we'll never be like you. I'm better than you, kind of kind of deal. And then there's this burn where you hear the the beat in the back go sink, and it sounds like they're cutting something, and, it, and they literally cut off somebody's head. But the entire time, their eyes are watching oxygen, as as if to say, we're gonna chop your heads off, like in this competition. So that was like the second burn, and I was like, okay. Um, but in anyway, unpacking some of the dope moments. I love the the hits um, that they hit on here, the the beat writing that they did when they had the head in there. Ta -ta 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 -ta. That was nice. That was a nice little touch. Um, also, I just like everything about their style of tutting because it's not just like typical tuts. There's also this texture about it that's not typical for most tutting. Um, usually, when you see tutting, it's very, uh, it's very just like. I don't know, I want to say one dimensional, but the texture is not there. They have an extra bit of texture that seems to like it flows. And that's an interesting factor to see with tutting. So they did an incredible job. So let's break it down. Creativity, how can you not give this a 10? Like, come on, creativity, 10, flat out. Is not, not even, you know, uh, a question. Choreography, 10. Also really hard. Uh, execution, also, I give execution a nine. Only because I do feel like some, some areas of it, you can see their energy start to drop a little bit. Um, not a whole lot, but there, there's just some things that I see as a dancer myself where, where their energy kind of drops and you can kind of tell that it's kind of like going through the motions. Um, but that's, I think that's the, the downfall of this style and, and doing that for an entire routine because you have to be so surgical as Derek would, Derek would say, um, with this routine, like there's not, there's not room for you to have more energy or a, a big burst or blast of energy into something like this until the end when he does a little gainer flip thing in which that was also a burn so the gainer flip thing he like I, the beat also says i'll never be like you and he grabs his face and throws it onto the floor and then goes into the gainer flip and ends the routine which i thought was sick um but anyway that was like that was like the most energy in that routine. You can obviously tell that they have more in their arsenal than what they're letting on, um, but because they put themselves in this box, a literal box of tutting, um, they they have to stay in that in that box for the moment. Uh, and and for that reason, the energy levels can be very plateau. But yeah. Overall, this was still a very, very, very good routine. So let's jump into it. Let's see how oxygen does. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like the song choice. Yes. Let's go. Uh. 
Nice. I love Locking so much. Woo! Yo! Wow, oxygen, jeez, y'all killed that. Like, I'm so hyped. That's how you know the routine was good. Like, when I'm, like, hype about it, like, it was it was dope. Um, so they came out with, like, old school locking, and I just loved the old school locking so much. Like, they, they executed it perfectly. Um, not to mention that they, they did the old school locking as well as their signature oxygen, like, I don't even know what you call that like the textures kind of like enigma movement stuff that they do um, but they they smash that routine like it just it made me so happy inside like it was dope um, so let's let's break it down uh, breaking it down into some sections first section it can't when they came out I was just like okay this is dope and then when I heard their song choice they hit they hit us with the old school James Brown you already knew it was about to go down like the moment you hear that get up off of your thing you know it's about to be a good routine like flat out anyway I want to call out the main girl when she came across with the little James Brown uh, uh, the part she did right there like that was that was the dopest part to me just for me because that groove was just so fresh It was so funky like dude. It was sick. The oh overall the routine was just fresh It was it was dope. It was funky like it was supposed it was supposed to be that like energy was high So let's let's give it some scores Creativity 10 execution 10 I, I have nothing bad to say about this at all choreography is a 10 for me like that was insane like wow okay I do have one bad thing to say one, one small critique I shouldn't say bad thing one critique when the guy came through at the beginning of the routine um, and he kind of did like a pirouette into the, like a like a, a leap I, I don't even know what you call that I think the ballet term is like a grand jeté or something like that but anyway it, it, I don't know it kind of threw me for for a loop it also just did it looked misplaced um, out of all the things that was the one thing that stood stood out to me where I was like hmm that just I don't know if that, that fit with the rest of the routine everything else was super solid super foundational um, it made sense but to throw that one like weird leap in uh, it just it kind of threw me for a loop but other other than that um, clean routine like yo it was it was hype I'm in love with them uh, I'm gonna just say it, yo, they're my top pick right now. Oxygen is, despite the judges not picking them, the, right now, if they can continue at that pace, wow. Like, right now, they're my favorite in the competition. Oxygen is just killing it. Like, love geometry variable. I like some of the other routines and stuff too, Jake and Child, some of the other contestants. But right now, Oxygen is my favorite and they killing it like yo so oxygen I'm right now I'm somebody put it in on paper right now oxygen is World of Dance season 4 winners for me we'll see that's that's who I'm going with uh, well, let's just do it that's that's what I'm going with I'm sticking to it but yeah Extensions are crazy.
Let's talk about it. Styles and Emma Redemption Round. Yo, first off, I want to start start off by saying that was a very strong routine. Um, Styles is ridiculously strong. Like, dude got just muscles everywhere. That's crazy. Um, I want to talk about the part where he basically just lifts her with one arm, like presses her. Like, that was crazy uh, to see that. And her legs just go for days. Matter of fact, both of their extensions just go for days, like beautiful lines all the way through, through and through. I will say Styles could work on his point just a little bit. Uh, I noticed that his point is just not as good as uh, Emma's, and that's just because he's dancing next to another phenomenal being. Um, but anyway, uh, just to, to actual break down the routine, it was very strong routine. It was very nice. Um, energy was, it was pretty good. Um, what else do I want to say about the routine other than like, it was just, you know, uh, very athletic and I like that a lot. Here's the thing I really want to focus on. I definitely sense a disconnect between the two of them when it comes to their dancing. Like I don't, I don't, I don't see the chemistry in their dance. They dance very well and they execute perfectly individually, but when they're together, it, it seems like they're just doing moves. It doesn't seem like it's connecting to be something more for them. Like it seems like it's just steps. And in fact, it seems like steps that somebody else created. It doesn't even feel like they choreographed it. Like it, it, it feels like somebody else gave them the words to a song and they just were reading off the paper. That That's what it felt like. Um, it, I could be wrong, maybe they did choreograph it, but for me, it felt empty and it was a very emotional song. I feel like it could have connected better. There could have been some different emotions with it, but but it just didn't connect for me. So now that I'm, I'm looking at it, uh, that's, that's the one thing that, that didn't quite hit home for me. But yeah, um, I'm excited that they brought them back. I really would have liked the Salsa couple to come back in a redemption round. They were just as good. Um, however, we didn't get them. So whatever it is, what it is. I'm excited that they brought Oxygen back. Uh, as I said earlier, they're still my top pick for this season. I think Oxygen is going to take it all if they continue with that amount of aggression and that amount of creativity and that level of choreography that they brought in the previous routine um to the to the competition so let's see let's see what they do now redemption let's go coming with the smooth criminal outfits oh my god Ugh. talk about it like wow what did i just watch once again oxygen for the second time tonight has blown me away like yo that routine was crazy they came out like at first i thought they were going to hit us with some like smooth criminal kind of thing but they came out and just killed like i don't even know what to call that what do you call that because it's like it's like hip-hop but it's like jazz but it's like 
stuff you just never seen before and the textures and the pictures uh, that they create is mind blowing. Like I am blown away. Once again, that's what I'm talking about. If oxygen continues at that level, they have no competition. Like I don't care what the judges said about geometry variable like that did not hold a candle to that lock-in routine and they were completely wrong for me to me they were wrong about that um but i'm glad that oxygen is back and they are here to stay like i i see them at least in the finals if they can continue at that level they will win this competition um anyway breaking it down uh let's talk about just how they started with the hat the hat thing like the, the picture that just with a simple head nod a head nod like how do you make a head nod tight in a dance outside of just like boom it's they created this texture in this picture to where it wasn't just a head nod it was like a shadow like they created a shadow of a head nod uh, amongst many different versions of them like it's like they replicated a single person and they all were in sync with that same head nod but at different times and speeds like okay anyway i don't even know how to to say what i'm trying to say like but it, it just wasn't a simple head nod and it was crazy and interesting i also want to talk about the footwork the footwork was nice when they came through with the little and then they came through uh also with that groove that mm, they killed that like they had grooves they had cutting they had like i don't even know like the geometry variable style type of like texture to it like which was crazy something i want to talk about too is in the transitions there's this move where the girl is dancing in the middle and i don't even know what she was doing because i was too focused on what was happening with the other dancers when their their hands were on the floor and they were just like to the beat with their fingertips and that just took me away like I was like crazy going crazy just over that like I thought that was so dope and so creative that even in the transition moments they made it interesting like wow oxygen you guys are amazing like yo I love you guys so much uh and I, again I'll say it again you guys are going all the way like that's it so that concludes the video for today guys um i am pumped to bring you more content i promise that i won't take so long between these videos i just got caught up in some stuff but dance fam um i'm back uh officially 1k uh subscribe subscription and 1k uh vlogger or whatever you want to call me guys i am pumped to bring you different kind of material i don't just want to stick to doing reaction videos I also dance myself. I want to make dance videos, yo. And then, uh, guys, if you ever get get the chance, go check out some of my other videos. Uh, I dance to this is that, which is why I make reaction videos to other dancers because I dance myself. Um, but also, uh, I, I want to just make normal vlog stuff. So if you guys want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. And dance fam, I'll see you in the next one. See you guys next week.